Good evening and welcome to Cider Park. Here in Germantown, Maryland, for this evening's game between the New York Haberdashers and the Baltimore Washington Grasshoppers. At this time, we'll introduce the starting lineup and batting order for the visiting New York Haberdashers. Batting first, the first baseman, number 34, Rabbit Bracken. Batting second, the shortstop, number 10, Loud Juice Kendrick. Batting third, the left fielder, number 11, Versi Moore. Batting fourth, the third baseman, number 6, Foulball Duncans. Batting fifth, the right fielder, number 40, Quiney Jagoff. Batting sixth, the center fielder, number 42, Gilligan Twiddle. Batting seventh, the second baseman, number 15, Pefty Wilcone. Batting eighth, the catcher, number 19, Dip Pearls. And batting ninth, the pitcher, number 21, Hutzel Good. And let's hop to it, it's the Baltimore Washington Grasshoppers. Here they are taking the field for this evening's game. The left fielder, number 41, Trevor Scrandelson. The first baseman, number eight, Fist Meyer. The shortstop, number two, Jake Steakhouse. The center fielder, number five, Grumbly Parker. The second baseman, number seven, Rocky Cottonier. The right fielder, number nine, Fixed Ray Mortgage. The third baseman, number ten, Heine Sheen. The catcher, number 14, Piero Legs Johnson. And taking the mound, the starting pitcher for the Baltimore Washington Grasshoppers, it's left-hander, Spruce Mouthman. Hello and good evening. You're listening to WFBR, radio for Baltimore, Washington, and everywhere in between. This is Lou Fudgwick, bringing you play-by-play -play action from Cider Park here in Germantown, Maryland. The second game of a three-game series between the New York Haberdashers and the Baltimore Washington Grasshoppers. The Haberdashers took the win in a tightly contested game. Outside. Last night, a ninth inning victory for the Haberdashers. Six to two, the final score. A five run ninth inning <clears throat> proved to be their, uh, the undoing for the Grasshoppers. Rabbit Bracken popped it up for out number one on the mound today for the Grasshoppers. His left hander Spruce Mouthman, he's going to get Kendrick, Loudus Kendrick, to ground out to Heine Sheen throw in time to fist Maya. Here's Versi Moore, 324 average. Mouthman is uh, quietly been, uh, well, a, a, an all-star as far as Grasshoppers fans are concerned. He is a former New York Haberdasher, so he will be facing familiar foes today in his former teammates as he gets Versi Moore to pop up to Jake Steakhouse for a 1-2-3 inning. <clears throat> Well, it all happened so fast, I didn't even get to Play talk ball. about Mouthman's accomplishments this season. He has had just an absolutely amazing uh, 1921. Who has had a consistently <clears throat> good season year after year is Herzl Good, the starting pitcher, who's going to get Truss Grundelson to strike out swinging to start things off. So Fist Meyer, a 330 batting average for the rookie Grasshopper. A former Charleston Crow played earlier this year for the Crows. <clears throat> Had a 292 average there. He's only gotten better He's out. in Baltimore, Washington. Pale green. He does, however, pop it up. I believe that was uh, Pepty Wilcombe with the catch. Two away, and it's Jake Steakhouse, another <clears throat> uh, member of the expansion draft for the Baltimore, Washington Grasshoppers. They acquired him from the New Ohio Debonairs. And boy, has he just had a resurgence. He's out. 
He's going to pop it up to Lao Juice Kendrick for a, a similar 1 2 3 inning. But we are through one. No score so far between the Haberdashers and the Grasshoppers. The Grasshoppers are currently a half game out of first place. 35 and 26. They can tie Pittsburgh with a win today. As for New York. As for the Haberdashers, they are 28 and 33. Seven and a half games out of first place. And the teams have split the series over the course of the season so far. Each team has won four of the eight games they have played so far. We will conclude that with today and what I believe will be uh, the third game in two days' time. <clears throat> Up to the play right now is Quiney Jagoff as Foul Ball Duncans foul, uh, walked to first. And Jagoff with the first hit of the game. It is a single to center field Grumbly Parker. The throw was in time to Heine Sheen, but he couldn't hold on to it. And so Duncans is safe at third. Runners around the corner for Gilligan Twiddle. Center fielder finding his self back in the starting lineup again. This is his first season for the content in the Continental League. He was a Norfolk whip. And that will be a fielder's choice. He will hit into it. Will score the run. So Duncan scores from third. It is one to nothing. New York Haberdash is here in the top of the second. Uh, a fielder's choice gets Jagoff out at second. So Twiddle is at first. He is now at second as Pefty Wilcone continues the chain with a single up the middle. One out so far. <laughs> and it's the catcher, Dip no, Hurl. Well, the Dashers facing their former teammate, left-hander Spruce Mouthman, and Dip Hurls is going to hit it to industry. My goodness, a three-run home run makes this 4 to nothing. Haberdashers. Home run number 19 that Mouthman has given up in 16 starts. That is home run number two for Dip Hurls. A 218 average, not exactly known for smashing it out of the ballpark, but well, it is four to nothing. Hurt so good, the pitcher spot is up next. He pops it up into the glove of Heine Sheen in foul territory to away. And it's back to the top of the order for the former Pittsburgh Presbyterian, Rabbit Bracken. Acquired in a trade this offseason. Bracken has had a 336 average. And he's going to pop it up to Mouthman in foul territory for out number three. Well, a home run, a three-run home run from Dip Hurls is the major reason why the Haberdashers lead four to nothing. That home run, of course, brought to you by industry brand, colognes, perfumes, and fragrances. Nothing smells as clean, as fresh, and as prosperous as the refreshing scent of industry. Found wherever smells are sold. Grumbly Parker with a 361 average so far this season. He pops it up to Quiney Jagoff in oh, right field for out number one. And it brings us to Rocky Cottonier. Hmm. so Goods uh, record this season is 6-4. A 387 ERA. He's thrown 68 strikeouts. And has pitched 81 innings. He's going to get Cottonier to ground out to Duncan. Throw to Bracken is in time. And it brings us to fixed Ray Mortgage. 302 average this season. For the right fielder. And that's going to be out number three. So a one, two, three inning yet again. And leading off for the Dashers is a single by Loud Juice Kendrick. No. Hi. So this brings us to Versi Moore with a runner on first. Top of the third, already caught nothing in favor of the New York Haberdashers, the away side. That's going to be another single up the left side. 
between the shortstop and third baseman. It's Versi Moore, his first hit of the game. And runners on first and second. Foul ball Duncans. He walked in the second. His second at bat today. Ball, that's low. Another ball low and outside for him. Smashes that with vim and with vigor. That will drop at the warning track. It will be a sliding double and two runs shall score. It is now six to nothing in favor of the haberdashers. And this is all going pear-shaped for the grasshoppers. They are down big early. <clears throat> Mouthman has no answer for the batting prowess of the haberdashers at the moment. Whiny Jagoff, and what a jumping catch from Fixed Ray, from Fixed Ray Mortgage. It does cause Duncans to tag up at third, but that is an amazing catch. I must say that catch is worth a salt, which is why it's brought to you by Salt, the seasoning craze sweeping the nation. You can try it on anything. Well, an RBI single for... Gillian Twiddle, he lines it out, uh, he grounds it out, excuse me, but it does score Duncans from third, and Pepty Wilcone only follows up by hitting to industry yet again. But what is that now? Eight. A solo home run from Pepty Wilcone, he hits it to industry yet again. Hefty Wilcone makes it 8 to nothing. Haberdashers. His 12th home run. Ball, that's and up next now is the man who just hit a three-run home run one inning prior. Dip Hurls. Not good contact. It's going to be an easy one for Sheen. Throw in time to Maya. For out number three. Another four runs scored by the New York Haberdashers. One of a home run from Hefty Wilcone brought to you by Industry Brand. Colognes, perfumes, and fragrances. Why smell like anything when you can smell like the clean, fresh no, scent of low. industry? Found whatever smells are sold. No, that's hmm. Heine Sheen is the first hit of the game for the Grasshoppers to get things started. It's a single up the middle. That is Sheen's second career uh, hit. A former Memphis Mud Pig played 12 games for them, a 340 Outside. average, 10 runs batted in in those 12 games. And that's going to get past Piano Legs Johnson on a 1-0 pitch. That's going to be extra bases. That's going to get past the sliding Versi Moore. Johnson is in with a double. And suddenly the Grasshoppers are in business. Here is left-hander Spruce Mouthman coming out of this game already. No, inside. It is Pope oh, Lactavius the third. That's low. Well, the bullpen will have to come in uh, handy for the grasshoppers. Nope. Lactavius with a throw, uh, a shot right to Loudjus Kendrick. Lines it out. Lactavius a 239 average, not his best season. And here comes Truss Grundelson, second time through. That is popped up high into the air. Versi Morris calling everyone off. Gets the catch. No tagging up. Good throw. It is out number two. And with runners on second and third, Fist Meyer is going to be asked to uh, deliver some runs. First pitch is a foul ball. Smashes it high and far. Does it have the distance? It does! It is a home run to industry, Fist Maya. His second career home run. Scores three big runs to industry for the Grasshoppers. It is now an eight to three game. That's inside. And here comes Jake Steakhouse. A 329 average, 16 home runs, 44 inside. runs batted in. And he is going to strike out for out number three. Well, it's not bad as Warden Lobster comes in. Four onto the mound for the top of the fourth. 
for the grasshoppers. Warden loves it. Well, gets immediately gets Herzl good uh, lining out. <clears throat> Put out number one here in the top of the court. No, Warden loves a three and all record, seven saves to his name, a four three nine average, a very good uh, bullpen pitcher. Acquired by the Grasshoppers from Pittsburgh in the expansion draft, he gives up an opening uh, 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 his first hit to Rabbit Bracken with one out. And here is Loud Juice Kendrick has a single already. That is right to Steakhouse. A diving steakhouse cannot get the double play. Makes the play at first for no out number two. This brings us to Versi Moore. Versi Moore swings that one right past the diving Heine Sheen. And Grundelson is going to try to throw to catch out. Gets him out at home. What a throw. Rabbit Bracken caught out at home. And that is a great play. Ball. Ball, that's up. To retire the side, Herzl Good is back on the mound for the Haberdashers here in the bottom of the fourth. That is a diving catch by Whiny Jagoff to deny Grumbly Parker. Another catch that I would say is worth a salt. And up next is Rocky Cartonier, 0 for 1 today. Make it over two first pitch. He hits it foul up into the air. Dip Hurls is there to make the catch. <laughs> Fixed ray mortgage over one. It's two outs so far. Grasshoppers would like to continue to claw back into this one. They scored the last three runs in this game. That's a broken bat right to Loud Juice Kendrick. He makes a throw in time to Rabbit Bracken for out number three, a one, two, three inning to recover for the dashes. Well, they take the mound here. Uh, they take the plate here at the top of the fifth. Foul ball, Duncans. Facing Warden Lobster. Hmm. You're listening to Radio WFBR. Uh, radio for Baltimore, Washington, and everywhere in between. This is Lou Fudgwick. You're listening to the Baltimore Washington Grasshoppers in their 62nd game of the 1921 Continental League season. They take on the New York Haberdashers. The second of a three-game series. And Warden Lobster gets a strikeout of foul ball Duncans. Swinging and down he goes. Brings us to Whiny Jagoff. Jagoff one for two today. Ball. No, inside. That is two and one the count. That is right to Jake Steakhouse. Throw in time to Maya. Out number two. First pitch is a strike one. That's going to drop right in front of Fixed Ray Mortgage. It'll be a single for Gilligan Twiddle. His first hit of the game. And Pefty Wilcombe takes the plate. Hit a home run in his last at bat. He's two for two today. Got a runner on first. And he's going to get it right to Rocky Cotton here. Throw to Maya in time. And that is the inning. So we head to the bottom of the fifth. The Grasshoppers still trailing by five runs, but they are back at the plate. And here is Heine Sheen. Well, the Haberdashers really seem to be looking to uh, find youth as the solution to their struggles. They, they, they've been trying a lot of things. They've uh, made some ad uh, ad additions. They brought in a new uh, starting pitcher in the final third of the season, but they brought in a lot of... Uh, <clears throat> a couple other... Uh, they made a couple other signings that I think they will look to build and hopefully uh, build towards the future. I think they'll be a very good team if they, uh, if they, if their, if their bets work out for them. And Keno Legs Johnson will foul that one out into the glove of Dip Hurls. For out number two. And staying in the game is Warden Lobster. He's batting, so he will go back to the mound for the top of the sixth. Which is good. He replaced uh, 
replaced the starting pitcher, left-handed Bruce Mouthman, in the uh, fourth oh. inning. So he will continue to go. He will ground it out. And that will be the end of the inning. So we head to the top of the sixth. <clears throat> An 8-3 to three game. Lobster back on the mound. Outside. This time facing Dip Hurls, the catcher. With the pitcher Herzl Good on deck. I imagine he would still be uh, staying in this game. I wouldn't imagine him leaving. Inside. That is high up into the air. Foul ball. ball. And that's going to be a strikeout looking. Gets him looking. High up into the air. <clears throat> He's out. And that's going to be right into the glove of Grumbly Parker for out number two. We head back around to the top of the order for the Haberdashers fourth time around. It's He's Rabbit run. Bracken one for three today. He's that's up. Hit it to industry yet again. Rabbit Bracken makes it nine to three. Goodness me, this has been quite a time for the New York Haberdashers to come alive in this game. Ball, oh, that's inside. And that's going to be a strikeout, so strike out number two for Warden Lobster, number three for Warden Lobster. And it is out number three, however, another home run, this time by Rabbit Bracken, his third of the season. Another home run to industry, because when you're having a nice night out on the town, don't you want to smell like something incredibly successful? Well, if you do, there's only one place you should look to. You should look to industry. Found wherever smells are sold. Trust Grundelson lines that one out for out number one here in the bottom of the sixth. The Grasshoppers are uh, trailing by a score of nine to three to the New York Haberdashers. The Haberdashers looking to get their way back up to 500 on the season. They are currently at 28 and 33. The Grasshoppers are trying to, well, in their first ever season, play for a championship. And Fist Maya will <clears throat> hit a single that will be dropping into right field. Whiny Jagoff has to chase it. Ball, that's low. And here comes Jake Steakhouse over to today. <clears throat> that's gonna be right to Kendrick. Will Cone, a fancy Dan to end the inning. Well, the fancy Dan double play. Brought to you by Fancy Dan Follicle Products. Please put more fop in your quaff with Fancy Dan. They have all the hair treatments, salves, so ointments, sad. and creams to give your hair that shimmer sheen, glimmer, and gleam. Don't be a Mitchell, be a Fancy Dan. Top of the seventh here, Warden Lobster back on the mound. He's already pitched three innings. He's going for four up. He's gonna give up a leadoff single to Versi Moore, his third hit of the game, Moore. Having quite the day. An average of 324 this season. He was struggling for a bit, but that will be the end of the day for Warden Lobster. He has come in for three strong innings. Coming in relief here at the top of the seventh, Elbers Burvelson. Burvelson, a signing in the recent break from the Charleston Crows. And he is being brought in after only making uh, six appearances, but was impressive with eight strikeouts in those times. And that's going to be, well, Jagoff just hits into a fancy Dan double play. It does put more on third. <clears throat>
<clears throat> but it does get Duncans and Jagoff out at first and second, respectively. Oh, Duncans at second, Jagoff at first. Here is Gilligan Twiddle, fouls it off for a two to account. Burbelson. Struck off, and he just hits it right to Jake Steakhouse. Great catch, ends the inning, strands one, puts a zero on the board, which is the best that the, hoppers can, the grasshoppers can hope for. <clears throat> well, they take the plate now. Grumbly Parker leads off. That was Burbison. Uh, four strikeouts in three and a third innings pitched. Did, however, give up three earned runs in his first appearance, which was in yesterday's game. That's low. Take that said, he is still very new. He's making his Continental League debut. This is his second game, and Herzl good. Still going strong here in the bottom of the seventh. He walks Grumbly Parker to start things off. Here is Rocky Cottonier. Parker with a 361 average. Cottonier has a 329. The former Charleston Crow. <clears throat> this is his first season as well. In the Continental League, he was brought up uh, as a signing by the Grasshoppers. And he's going to line it out right to center field. Gilligan Twiddle is there. Underhanded catch. And up next is Fixed Ray Mortgage. The former Boston Ruffian. A 302 average this season. He's got himself back in the starting lineup. He's punching above his weight. His career average is 273 when he played in Boston. But he has uh, really been improving. He does, however, pop it up into the center field. Gilligan Twiddle with the catch. There's a lot of promise in this Grasshoppers team, especially with this being their first season. There is a lot to build on. There might be players that can be signed that will want to play in the Baltimore, Washington metropolitan area for this new side when they see what is going on. Heine Sheen with a single. It does move Parker all the way to third. And with two outs, it brings up Piano Legs Johnson. Sheen, his second hit of the day. <clears throat> Ball, that's low. There's Piano Legs Johnson right to the glove of Loud Juice Kendrick. Lines it out, strands the two runners. And we head to the top of the eighth. Still nine to three. Wilcon starts things off here for the Haberdashers. He's two for three today with a home run and a single. And that will, well, that will be an error <clears throat> recorded by Rocky Cottonier. Just miss, uh, just miss, uh, miss, misreads the ball. It was sliding right to him. He just could not pick it up. And that will be an E4, I believe. For those of you scoring at home. That's inside. Dip pearls. And here's a way to make amends for it. Steakhouse to Cotton here. A fancy Dan double play. <clears throat> well, Herzl Good will be going for an eighth inning, it appears. He is batting yet again. He is over three today. But he will take a uh, step out again. To pitch <clears throat> in the bottom of the eighth, it would appear, for the Haberdashers. Well, the Dashers have had considerable trouble with him today, all day. Why Why change a good thing, <clears throat> I suppose? Good hits it right to Fist Meyer, a ground ball, a step on the bag, and that will be the end of that. So, the Grasshoppers take the plate. <clears throat> I imagine it will not be Burleson who will be batting. I imagine it will be a pinch hitter. Yes, it is Curtis. Burgess. First pitch is in for a strike. <clears throat> Burgess is a 254 average. He's the backup catcher right now behind Piano Lakes Johnson. They've been splitting time, I think, is really what it is. He's going to pop it up into left field versus more with the catch. And we head to the top of the order for Trust Grundelson. Swing at the first pitch. Strike one. Hurts all good. Approaching that 100 pitches mark. 
That's going to be right to Duncans, and the throw to Bracken is in time. Here is Fist Maya. Did have a three run home run. The only scoring that the Grasshoppers did all game today. And he outruns the throw from Pefty Wilcone. It's a single for Maya. And Maya will come out of this game for Coke Can Lloyd, a pinch runner. Jake Steakhouse will single that to center field. Gilligan Twiddle retrieves it, but it only moves my it only moves Lloyd to second base. Herzl Good has now hit thrown a hundred pitches as he faces Grumbly Parker, who smashes it. But does it have the distance? I think the answer might be no to that one. Gilligan Twiddle with the catch. It strands the runners. And retires the side. So the top of the ninth, Shiwi Huaninja comes in to pitch for Elbers Burbelson. And Dollop O'Daisy comes in for Fist Meyer. We'll move to third base. Heine Sheen to first. And that is a leadoff double by Rabbit Bracken, who is a triple away from the cycle, but I don't think he'll have another at bat at this time. Weninger at 2 0. He is a <clears throat> Baltimore Washington original. This is his rookie season, has not played in the Nursery League. A 5-6-0 ERA, 14 strikeouts from 35 and a third innings pitched. Two saves to his name. Just looking to uh, complete this game at the moment. And that's going to be going right to Heine Sheen at first for out number one. It does move Bracken to third base. And here is Versi Mort, one out. High up into the air, does not look like that would be a chance to tag up. Jake Steakhouse with the catch, that is out number two. And here is foul ball Duncans with a potential 10th run, 90 feet away. And Duncans smashes it at the first pitch. Does it have the distance? It does. He hits it to industry. Well, he gets another home run today. That is the fourth home run hit by the Haberdashers. A two run home run from Foulball Duncans, who is also a triple away from the cycle. That is his, <clears throat> that is Duncans. I didn't have my stats up for him. That is his sixth home run of the season. And RBIs are at 33. It's his fourth run batted in today. He did have the two run double in the third. That is Whiny Jagoff striking out. So that is the final out of the top of the ninth. Herzl Good takes the mound for Rocky Cottonier. Can he complete the game? Cottonier, Mortgage, and Sheen are up, and that is out number one. First pitch popped up to Kendrick at shortstop. Herzl Good will take the bench. He said he is at, he is at his end, and in comes Franco Yellington. Well, two outs left to get for Yellington. He's already at a one and two count of fixed ray mortgage. Grounds it to Kendrick. Kendrick throw in time to Bracken. That's two away. Yellington has a two and oh record. A 544 ERA and two saves to his name. <clears throat> and right now his only job is to get the final out, which is Heine Sheen, who is two for three today. That is going to be three for four. He's on with a single. Quiney Jagoff at right field retrieves the ground ball. And here is Piano Legs Johnson. First pitch swings right to Yellington. Throw to Bracken is in time. And the game is over. Well, the Grasshoppers are now on a four-game losing streak. Not the kind of thing you want to see. When they are... Uh, when they are competing for a championship. But the New York Haberdashers do get the win, the final score of this game. The New York Haberdashers, 11 runs from 15 hits. The Baltimore Washington Grasshoppers, three runs from eight hits. With one error recorded.
The box score shall be in your afternoon newspapers tomorrow. Do note the New York Cabalashers scored 11 runs. Four of them, uh, four coming from home runs, four home runs were hit. Uh, by, beg, beg your pardon, four home runs were hit. Uh, that accounted for four, five, six, seven, eight of those 11 runs. <clears throat> Foul ball Duncans with four of those runs batted in. De Pearls with three from his home run. The winning pitcher, of course, Herzl Good, going eight and a third innings. <clears throat> Improves his record to seven and four. Left-handed Spruce Mouthman gets the loss. He goes to eight and four. After only going three innings before being replaced and giving up eight earned runs. A strong sewing from the bullpen by the Grasshoppers by Lo with Lobster, Burleson, and Wanninger being, uh, getting some significant time. But unfortunately, uh, the game was already well behind at the time. <clears throat> we do thank our friends at the Honey Wheat Tobacco Company who bring you fresh hand-rolled cigarettes grown on the fabled tobacco roads of the Carolinas. Any time is a good time for a Honey Wheat cigarette. They bring you the finest dandies of today of the day for today, this game, and all games of the 1921 Continental League season. The third finest dandy is Rabbit Bracken of the New York Haberdashers, going three for five with a home run. The second finest dandy, Fist Meyer of the Baltimore Washington Grasshoppers, who went three for four with a three with I believe with a three run home run to his name. And two signals. But the finest dandy of the day, getting a complimentary carton of honeyweed cigarettes, is Foulball Duncans. No love for the pitcher today. Where is Herzl good? I must say that must be a, that was a fantastic showing from him. Uh, in fact, I do want to just look at his statistics yet again. Uh, two strikeouts, seven hits allowed, three on runs. Not the best of days, but uh, went 8.1, eight and a third innings. So that's pretty good. But Foulball Duncans for hitting a, a uh, <clears throat> two-run home run and a two-run single. A two-run double, getting four runs batted in. He is the finest dandy of the day. He gets a complimentary carton of honeyweed cigarettes. For being the finest dandy of the day, brought to you by the Honeyweed Tobacco Company, who humbly request that you smoke wheat every day. Well, a much-needed day off for the Grasshoppers. They play the third game of this series with the New York Haberdashers in two, two days' time. On the mound for them, for the, the Haberdashers, will be Spots Flores making his debut... A recent pickup, I believe they got him from the Bakersfield Golden Suns, taking on Greasy Neaton, a 5-5 five and five record, uh, a rookie for the Baltimore Washington Grasshoppers. That will be the matchup in two days' time. But until then, this concludes our broadcast. We return to your regularly scheduled programming here on WFBR. My name is Lou Fudgwick. Thank you for listening. And as always, we're not going to be we're not that far away. Just a few hops from here.